Good morning, homesteaders, gardeners, and cooks. My name is Jennifer. Welcome to Miles Away Farm, or welcome back. I am making waffles this morning. It's a lazy Sunday morning. This is my favorite waffle recipe. I don't know where I found it. I'll Google and see if I can find the exact same recipe and leave a link to it below so I give credit to the person who posted it. What inspired this was I had some buttermilk in the fridge. I usually use powdered buttermilk when I'm baking. And I can't remember why I decided I wanted the real deal, but I had a quart of buttermilk that I'd only used about a cup of. And so I decided I was going to make these overnight waffles with the rest of the buttermilk. And I have tried a lot of waffle recipes over the years, and I am, it turns out, wildly picky about my waffles and what I think they should taste like, and mostly the texture. A good waffle to me is crispy on the outside and light and fluffy on the inside and hopefully retains that for more than the 30 seconds after it came out of the waffle iron. And my biggest gripe with most waffle recipes is they lose their consistency and their texture in what seems like seconds after they come out of the waffle iron. And so that drives me crazy. The other thing that's just a non-starter for me with a waffle recipe is needing to whip the egg whites separate. And I know that supposedly the best tested and most flavorful waffle recipes are whipping your egg whites and then folding them in. And that is just way too fussy for me, especially on a lazy Sunday morning. I don't want to be whipping egg whites. And so I ended up with this recipe that I just kind of found at random. And it turns out I really, really love it. So we're having waffles for breakfast. So I thought I would show you this. So this is overnight, two cups of flour, a teaspoon of yeast, a tablespoon of sugar and a half a teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk. In this, in my case, I use two cups of buttermilk. And then this sits on the counter overnight. That freaks you out. Maybe don't use this recipe. I'm not too worried about the dairy sitting out, particularly with buttermilk because it's cultured. It's kind of like yogurt and it's going to be fine. You let that sit overnight and then you add in an egg and six tablespoons of melted butter and then throw it in your waffle iron. And this waffle iron was recommended by America's Test Kitchen. I bought this for myself as a treat, gosh, probably five or more years ago now. And this was after having a myriad of waffle irons that came from thrift stores or were really inexpensive big box store waffle irons. And they all work, but I decided I really wanted a good one. And so I think maybe with some tax money that we got back or something, I decided to go ahead and buy this. This waffle iron holds about three quarters of a cup. And I like that you can make two at once. And I don't bother greasing this. I've never had a big issue with anything sticking. Because there's a lot of butter in this batter, it doesn't tend to be a problem. And I never get the first one right in terms of size. And this is a little thicker than it normally is just because I did use that buttermilk, which has got a thicker consistency. And then I like to have a plate and my toaster oven on warm so that as these come out, they are staying warm and they're ready to go in so that we don't have to eat them one at a time as they come out of the waffle iron. All right, this beeps when things are done. And there we go, waffle number one. It's obviously got adjustments for color as well. Did a better job of the size on this one, beautiful. Can, can you guys hear that? That's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna keep these warm in my toaster oven. And we're on to round two. Thank you. 
Insight Tribe. I hope you've enjoyed this short little video on a really simple, easy pantry staple, yeasted waffles. Definitely worth making on a lazy Sunday morning if you remember to start them the night before. Give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, and share. I have new content coming out every week.